Okay. Let's start another game and not drop down to 600, right? <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for, at least. Um, I think this is okay. Not this again. Oh, no, no, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This position's okay. Okay, so he'll fall back. Yeah, that's expected. So I'd like to move my queen. The question is... Um, I think I'll go for the castle first. Pawn g5 is a trap. I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'll trade my knight for your bishop. That's cool. Um, D8 was the only viable square, if I'm not mistaken. I can develop. No, but I can't retake that. Could offer the trade here. Um, I have two defenders on d4. Here's what I'll do. I'll play rook e8 and then bishop e6. So if we kick his knight away, we can at least have something to um, defend our bishop here if we get into the situation where he retakes. Okay. Okay, so I think before I um, made the bishop e6 move, I think I should have just made an escape square from my bishop here. Um, I lost a game, like, two, what was it, two or three games ago to this exact same thing. And I'm thinking, moving back to b6, he takes, I can recapture, and then we trade off bishops is probably the play. Mm. I don't think taking the pawns the play. Pretty sure he'll jump. With his knight here. Drobodan from Georgia. The opponent is stinking. It's okay, I do that a lot too. I feel you, my guy. <laughs> the opponent made a move. Okay. Maybe I just defend this way. Let's see, what can we do here? This will force his pawns to stack, but then that'll force my pawns to stack too. Maybe I defend this way. I don't know. <laughs> Seems reasonable. OK. 
Okay, my knight is kind of hanging here. I guess I'll attack his bishop. Seems like a fair trade. Okay. So he's still got eyes here. His bishop is defended. I think I'll just add one more defender to the knight. Maybe my long-term plan will be to get the rook out of sight from the bishop here. Okay, I was kind of expecting that. I don't think he's going to take this pawn. Okay. Let's see. This looks like a little bit of a trap. If he takes, I takes, the queen's wide open. Could always pin his knight. That would be weird. How do I uninstall this game? <laughs> My life. My life. <laughs> it's fine. I meant to do that. It's fine, guys. It's literally fine. We're going to turn it around. I'm not even worried about it. It's going to get it's going to get better. <laughs> ay ay ay. What am I doing? My poor pawns. They're so nice. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of them. All hope is lost. Okay. We just comp Kazuya down the board. Oh, God. <laughs> Was that only one blunder? 95% accurate. How do I play such good people? Crazy. It was so even. I made one bad move here, huh? Well, more than one bad move, let's be real. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is the engine trying to tell me that this was not a blunder? I'm surprised that this is a mistake and not just a blunder. It seems like kind of a big deal. But yeah, anyways. Um, okay, let's just see if we can learn something from here. Okay, so we had pretty even positions. Okay, so basically moving the rook here didn't do anything, but offering the knight trade 
was a bit better. Okay. Right on target. I'm trying to get into the habit of um, trying to control the center, which is why moves like knight to a5 don't seem supernatural at this point, even if they are attacking something. But I guess in this case, it does make sense because the bishop really has nowhere to run. So even if he runs here, I can still snag his bishop. So it does make sense, but it kind of goes against the habit that I'm building of trying to control the center. It looks like he spotted that too. Okay, so it looks like I had the right idea with uh, the pawn push to a6. It was maybe just like one move too late. So I probably should have done that a little bit earlier. That's okay. I'm losing material this way. Yeah. You're threatening to win a pawn. Okay. Okay, that was a big mistake, yeah. These backwards knight jumps, I think I need to do more. Um, but even then, I didn't really want to jump this back because it loses a rook, which I don't want to do, but maybe in the long run, it's better for me. Um, so like, even if I go here, I would just expect him to do this. But, and then, you know, takes, and then he can probably protect this pawn or something like that. But maybe just being down a rook here is better in the long run for the position. I don't know. But... And then it all went downhill from there. And I think... Yeah, I need to just not do that ever again. Cool. So that's the video for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow.